Hello, viewers. Welcome to another edition of Social Studies. I hope you are all doing well and had a good time in school today. Our topic for today is managing our finance. And as usual, you know my name already. My name is Anita Otre Asari. As we get along, the phone lines will be opened and the numbers to call is 0302-211-698 or 0302-211-699. Good. I'm sure yesterday you enjoyed the lesson. But today, as I already said, our topic is a new topic. And the topic is managing our finance. Before we start the lesson, we have some objectives as to guide us as to what we are going to learn today. And so the objectives are just simple and straightforward. By the end of the lesson, you, the learner, will be able to explain the following terms. One, currency. Two, money. Then also describe the proper ways of handling currencies of the country and the effects or problems associated with poor handling of money. And the last point is identify avenues of saving towards future security. Okay, so now we are going to explain what currency means. A currency is a printed note, paper or minted coins that are used for buying goods and services or are used for, to buying goods and payment of services in a country. Again, it is also a system of money in general use or it's a system of money that is in general use, used in a particular country. History tells us that gold dust, silver coins and curry shells were used globally as currency for trading in the olden days. For example, in Ghana, the name of our currency is the Ghana City and Persuas. In Nigeria, the name of the currency is Nara and Kobo. Countries such as Togo, Beni, Cote d'Ivoire has currency of CFA franc, and the Netherlands, Belgium, Finland, Portugal uses the euro as their currency. It means that currency is the proper or the sorry the property of state and must be handled properly. Now we move on to money. We have just ex explained what a currency is and I'm sure you have been using the monies at home. Sometimes you use the 20 CDs, the 10 CDs and others. So let's look at what money is. Money is defined as anything which is generally accepted by a community as a medium of exchange and payment of debts. So sometimes when you go and borrow something or buy something, you need to use money as an exchange for the debt that you have gone to or the money that you have gone to collect from someone. For example, in Ghana, the currency used as money in Ghana is the Ghana CD notes and the Ghana pesos. The denomination is as follows. The 200 Ghana CD, the 100 Ghana CD, the 50 Ghana CD, the 20 Ghana CD, and other notes that you know. Then the Peswa coin is the 50 Ghana Peswa, the 20 Ghana Peswa, and the 10 Ghana Peswa. Wow. Okay. Now let's move on to the next topic, which is proper ways of handling currency. Let's look at the proper ways of handling currency. Money must be handled properly through the following ways. 
I'm sure you are already conversant with how to handle money. But today, we are going to discuss how money should be handled properly. Money must be handled properly through the following ways. One, we must ensure that we always handle money with clean hands. We do not have to handle money when our hands are dirty or wet. What happens to it when the hand is dirty or wet? Realize that the money becomes wet and it is easy to crumple. All right. The next point is we must ensure that we do not stain the money with palm oil, ink, grease, or other filthy things. The next point, again, is we must not write on the notes, for, for, for example, names of people. Sometimes people write their names on money because they believe that when they write their names on it, the money will come back to them. It will never come to them because money is always in circulation and money will not come back to you when you write your name on it. Some also sign their signatures. Some write lotto numbers and other things on money. This may deface the currency to reduce its life span. We are still on proper ways of handling money. We should not crumple the money, but rather put them in wallets or purse, or if possible, money boxes. I know some of you have money boxes at home. To keep the money safe, to let the money stay longer, it's better to keep them in the money box or in our purse. We should not crush or try to remove any part of the coins with hard objects, such as stones, metals against the coins in this process by removing any part of the coins. Sometimes children are so mischievous and curious also. They sometimes take stones trying to remove the metallic part of the money out of it, which is not possible. But if you do that, then you are trying to mishandle the money. Again, do, do not put currency notes in your shoes, braziers, shorts and boots. Remember that it takes a lot of money to print the Ghana CD and the Persua. We, as we move along, we are also going to discuss the effects or problems associated with poor handling of money. Now, when money is handled properly, there will be no effects. We we'll all enjoy using the money very well. But if you don't handle the money very well, then there will be problems. So we are looking at some of the effects of or um, problems associated with handling of money. One, the first point is high cost of printing. High cost of printing. It is very expensive when money is defaced and the government has to take more money or more foreign exchange to print our local money when it is not handled well the currency wears out easily within a short time and the cost the government bears the cost and a lot of money is used to repaint these defaced notes the second point is rejection by people rejection by people or rejection by individuals or people around now when currencies are mishandled, it leads to defacing, retearing, and making it dirty, which eventually leads to rejection by the public. I know you sometimes board the trotro or the passenger vehicle, and you hear people exchanging ways. I'm not taking the money from you, because look at the money I gave to you. It was very new, but you have given me a money that is defaced. So these are some of the challenges that go along with monies that are defaced. Defaced money is given as change by bus conductors, so passengers end up in heated arguments. The next point is contamination of bacteria and certain diseases. You all know that money goes to a lot of hands. It goes to the traders, it goes to the bankers themselves, it goes to individuals around society. So it gets contaminated. People sometimes do not even wash their hands when their hands are wet or are infected with any other virus or bacteria. 
and then they transfer money to other people. So let's look at the, this point, contamination of bacteria and certain diseases. Money is also a medium of transmission of certain diseases. This is because money gets to all groups of people, especially the healthy and the unhealthy people. When such notes are improperly handled by the public and the unhealthy people, it becomes contaminated and increases the spread of bacteria. And this can cause one to easily contract diseases, especially infectious ones. All right, so our next point is effects of problems associated with poor handling of money. We just ended the other one. So the next one is causes of, it causes food poisoning. It causes food poisoning. Foods can be poisoned through the improper handling of notes and coins. For example, a food vendor who dishes out food to customers for consumption and uses the same hand to collect the money contaminates the money or contaminates the food by making it poisonous. Now, we are moving on to the next subtopic, which is ways of ensuring the proper ways of handling currencies in Ghana. Ways of ensuring. That means that this is different from what we just discussed. This is the ways of ensuring the proper way of handling Ghana currencies or handling our currency. The first point to explain is public education. We need public education. There should be an intense public education through the media, religious bodies and institution, and also the National, Civic, National Commission on Civic Education and the banks or the Bank of Ghana are all places or medium that public education can go on. Through public education, they form or inform the ed and educate the negative effects of improper use of the local currency. The second point on the ways of ensuring proper ways of handling money or currencies in the country is passing or enactment of law, passing laws or passing enactment of law. It is very important that parliament 
should pass laws that will deal drastically with individuals who, whose activities affect and deface the local currency. Traders who sell charcoal, palm oil, tie and dye products and also paints should be careful when handling our currency. The courts should punish individuals who mishandle our money. And the last but not the least point is the use of quality materials. Quality materials should be used in printing and minting of the currency to make it last longer. You know that we see our paper notes in the form of paper. Even though we don't actually know the type of paper that is used, we know that it is paper. So when you don't handle it well, if you pour water on it, it will get wet and it will be defaced. If you use money in the classroom and write on it, you deface the, the frontage of the paper. Again, when you pour ink on it, you deface the frontage of the paper. Now, our next topic is savings. Savings. Let's look at the definition or the meaning of savings. Saving is an amount of money set aside from one's income for future use. When we say future, it can be tomorrow. So sometimes when money is given to you to school, you can sometimes try to put some aside and save them. Now, the following ways are some of the ways by which you can save your money. 